In part three of this series, we'll learn how to answer the last question, which reads, gallium has two naturally occurring isotopes, gallium-69 with a mass of 68.9256 and a natural abundance of 60.11%. And the second isotope is gallium-71. Use the atomic mass of gallium listed in the periodic table to determine the mass of gallium-71. To find the atomic mass for this particular question, we'll need to combine our knowledge in chemistry with our knowledge in algebra. First, let's find out what the atomic mass unit of gallium is according to the periodic table. As you can see here, the atomic weight of gallium is 69.723. So let's write that down. 69.723 AMU. So let's set up a mathematical equation here. We know that we have to convert this percentage into a decimal, as was the case in questions one and two. So converting this into a decimal, we move this decimal place two to the left. We end up with 0 0.6011. And we'll multiply that number by its AMU, which is this number, 68.9256. Next, we focus on the other isotope, gallium-71. We know that since there is 60.11% abundance of gallium-69, the remainder has to be true for gallium-71. Let's find out what 100% minus 60.11% is equal to. This will be the abundance of gallium-71. So 100 minus 60.11 gives us 39.89, and I'll convert this percentage into a decimal the same way I did for the other one. I end up with 0 0.3989. Okay, let's set this up mathematically. We have this plus the percentage of gallium-71, 0 0.3989. We don't know its mass, so I'm going to replace that with an x. Normally we would just put the number, but we don't have that number, so we can replace it with any letter that you like. And this is equal to 69.723. Now keep in mind that we will be accounting for significant figures here. So when I multiply these two numbers, I should end up with a number that has four significant figures. 0 0.6011 times 68.9256 that gives me this number and keep in mind that we have to have four significant figures although there are so many numbers here we will write down up until four numbers after the decimal just for good measure because we can't start rounding off numbers if there are more calculations underway but we'll also account for the fact that anything after that three is insignificant and the way we do that is by writing out as many numbers as you want and then putting a dot underneath the number that is the last significant number so we have 41.43 one, one. That's good enough. And this is the last significant number. Everything after that three is insignificant. Plus, we'll just keep that the way it is, and we'll keep that the way it is. I need to isolate from my x variable, so what I will do is take this number and subtract it from this number. That gives me 69.723 minus 41.4311. Now when it comes to adding and subtracting, your final answer needs to contain the same amount of numbers after its decimal place as the number with the fewest decimal places before calculating. So this has three numbers after the decimal place, this has four, so your final answer should also have three numbers after the decimal place. You use the least amount. 69.723.41.4311. That gives us 28.29.19. And I mentioned that we should only have three numbers after that decimal place, so I'll just put a dot right there because there's still some more math left. This part remained the way it is, and I'll write it down here. Now to solve for this x, we will divide both sides by the number that's in front of the x, 0 0.3989. So our final answer should have four significant figures. This number has five significant figures, this one has four. Let's find out the mass of gallium-71. 
0.2919 divided by 0.3989. That gives us 70.92. And everything after that 2 is insignificant. And since that 4 is less than 5, we're not going to be rounding up. 70.92 AMU of gallium 71. So there you have it. That is how to calculate atomic mass.